Once a bast fibre crop has been grown to maturity, the fibre needs to be extracted from the rest of the plant material. This is done by a process known as retting. Retting is the microbial process that breaks the chemical bonds that hold the stem together and allows separation of bast fibres from the woody core. There are several different processes to ret fibre from a plant. These include biological retting, mechanical retting, chemical retting, and physical retting. Biological retting is the most common retting process used. In this process, bacteria or fungi decompose the pectins and gum to help separate the fibres from the surrounding materials. This can be done naturally with dew, water or enzyme treatment. There are three different ways to handle the fibre crop for biological retting including leaving the crop spread across the field so it gets exposed to the weather, water immersion of the fibre stalks or using enzymes to help with fibre separation. Chemical retting is a process where the stalks are treated with acid and alkalis to remove the core fibres from the bast fibres. In this method, the stalks are often boiled with chemicals such as sodium hydroxide, sodium benzoate, and hydrogen peroxide at a specific temperature for several hours, and then washed with clean water. Physical retting is a two-stage process and often used only to produce short fibres. The first stage begins with a chemical pre-treatment before the stalks are subjected to steam explosion, where the fibres will be blown apart and separated. In mechanical retting, a decorticator is used. This machine beats and crushes the harvest fibre crop to allow for manual separation of the bast and core fibres. After the retting process, the fibres are washed with clean water before drying them. Drying is essential for storing of the fibres, and a moisture level of 10% is preferred to avoid mould growth and fibre deterioration. The quality of the extracted fibre will often determine its end use. Fibre quality is determined by the retting process, and also during crop production. Quality parameters include fibre length, strength, fineness, length, uniformity and colour grade.